What's up guys, it's ZG, and in this video, I'm bringing you guys the next episode in my Easy Flawless series. Basically, we go in depth on each subclass and see what we can do to help you guys out to better perk your guardians out for Trials of Osiris. Now, the last one that I did was for the Void Walker, and the support behind that video was absolutely insane. Over 500 likes, so I was super glad that you guys enjoyed that video. But in that video, I promised you guys the next episode would be the Stormcaller. So here we are with the Stormcaller. Don't worry, Hunters and Titans, if these videos can get over 120 likes each, we will continue to do every subclass. Hunters, Titans, everything that you guys want to see, we will do. So again, I'm really glad you guys support this content. If you do, make sure you hit these videos with a thumbs up. And with that, let's get right into it. So we're looking at our Stormcaller today, and right off the bat, we want to focus on intellect and strength. Main reason because I don't really feel like the discipline for the Stormcaller is really that necessary. The grenades aren't super good, so I don't perk mine out that way. I don't value their grenades as much as I value their melee and their super. The super is super strong. The melee has just the most range in the entire game, so that's how I like to focus on the intellect and strength. Next, we have our perk sets. Now, starting off, we have the grenades. We have Pulse Grenade, Storm Grenade, and Arc Bolt Grenade. Personally, I run the Storm Grenade. I feel like it's a very underutilized and underrated grenade, especially for the Storm Caller. A lot of people use Arc Bolt Grenades, and I totally get it. They're very powerful grenades, but I feel like in Trials where a lot of people hide behind things and you know they're always in cover sometimes that arc bolt grenade can just hit whatever cover they're behind instead of hitting them so i like using the storm grenade uh, especially because it comes down and it has a very wide surface area it does a lot of damage it can actually one shot certain guardians especially with low armor so i like to run the storm grenade it's just a super powerful grenade and it works well with the last perk in this tree which we'll go over when we get there now next of course we're running focus burst this is pv uh, if you're unless you're a blinking you know void walker and that's just what you main for any subclass on the warlock you want to make sure that you're using focus burst it very easily closes those small gaps it makes it very easy for you to warlock skate and it actually increases your speed because of how you're able to use it uh, i don't see why you would use focus control or balance glide if you're pve main then maybe those are better options but for pvp uh, especially in this shotgun meta you want to be running focus burst it's basically the only option now for the storm trance we have landfall superconductor and ionic blink most people will probably tell you to use ionic blink and i get it it can be a great uh perk to maneuver and it can be a great way to juke people and get out of the way of striker slams or uh nova bombs it is a very powerful perk especially in trials so that's a great option but for me i like running landfall now the main reason i run landfall is because you basically get a titan slam on top of being able to roam around with storm trance it's very very strong and the way that i use it is unexpectedly i'll just come through uh, a corner i'll see somebody especially where a lot of people are camping with shotguns right Right now uh, I'll just turn the corner and I'll landfall that corner kill that guy and then I'm able to go around in super and especially if I know that it's a Titan or something like that and they have their super this will actually surprise a lot of people so you storm callers out there don't be afraid like me personally I don't have a lot of skill with ionic blink I'm sure it's a great option and I've used it and I've used it to success but I'm I'm not super skilled in it like some people are some people you can't touch them when they use it and that's great practice but for me I would rather spend my time actually getting kills and actually being productive with my uh with my super so i run landfall um so if you're not super good with ionic blink don't be afraid to change don't be afraid to try something new landfall is definitely an awesome option now superconductor that's more for pve uh crowd control and stuff like that this is what i use uh, in the raid but for pvp trials of osiris like what the purpose of these videos is for i run landfall next up we have the thunderstrike the melee we have chaining lightning amplitude and rising storm in trials of osiris you want the range you want to be able to get it done uh, from a distance so amplitude is really the only option the this is when you get hit by that storm caller uh melee and it's like how do they have that much range this is the reason why amplitude your thunder strike has greater range this is an absolute beast and it actually kind of pushes your opponent back so if they're rushing you with a shotgun and you hit them from a distance with this it actually kind of pushes them back gives you the opportunity to swap to your shotgun or follow up with another uh 
thunder strike so it's just very very powerful uh you do have chain lightning which again pve orientated i really wouldn't use uh this in pvp i don't really see the need and then rising storm if you wanted to use this that'd be okay uh hits with thunder strike charge your super ability and melee energy so you're getting uh additional uh energy for every time that you're meleeing so it, it is a good perk but amplitude is really what you want you will surprise people with how far you'll be able to hit them from and once you start getting used to it and you know that range you can be really really effective so amplitude is definitely the route that you guys want to go for trials uh next with these guys you want to make sure that you're running max armor i've said this before i'll say it in every one of these videos uh, this can be the difference between winning and losing this can be the difference between a 4-4 win and a 4-4 loss uh, you want to keep your in a, you want to keep your armor high uh, you can survive trip mine grenades with this uh, some people may even survive a sticky by having max armor it'll only increase your game so make sure that you're running max armor on every class not just stormcaller not just warlocks on every class max armor will save your life so make sure that you do that so here we have arcane spirit and divine order in this middle tree here we have pulse wave feedback and transcendence uh, pulse wave i actually see a lot of storm callers using pulse wave i don't really get it myself when critically wounded trigger a pulse wave that boosts speed for you and your allies the main thing that i don't like about this perk is the sound that it makes and it actually lets you know that you've actually damaged someone when i hear that i know that this person's one shot because it makes this big sound it has this big wave that goes around it, it makes a lot of noise and for trials you don't you don't really want that and the fact that you also have to be hurt for it to initially do anything it just it really does doesn't help anything so uh i don't really use this and if you're using this just for the sake of having it on or maybe you haven't perked this out i recommend you change it now what i use is feedback incoming melee attacks fully recharge and intensify your thunder strike and the main reason i use this is because in trials once you get hit with that melee uh, as long as you know you're not getting hit with a shotgun first you have a, a, a full thunder strike and it's even stronger this can actually one shot some low armor opponents uh, in the right situation and uh, with my shotgun i have close and or personal giving me that additional uh, melee damage after a shotgun hit so if they hit me this is basically a one shot melee and it can be extremely extremely effective the last thing we have is transcendence when cast with full grenade and melee energy storm trance restores your health to full and drain slower again this is an all right perk i really wouldn't focus on it too heavily maybe in pve but for pvp running feedback really is the option for me i don't know why people use pulse wave if you use pulse wave let me know in the comment section down below why you use it what benefits you may have with it um again this is my perk loadout but hopefully this 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 kind of stuff can help you guys out but if you do use this to effectiveness uh let me know why in the comment section finally in this last perk tree we have electrostatic mind arc web and perpetual charge I run arc web enemies damaged by your grenade chain deadly lightning to nearby enemies and like I said in the beginning of the video uh, this pairs extremely well with the storm grenade because the storm grenade really has a massive uh, surface area and when you hit people with it and then it chains to them it actually is a very far chain you'll be surprised sometimes how far it actually chains to the enemies uh, that are nearby the one that you hit with your storm grenade so this is what I run a lot of people run electrostatic mine and this is actually a very powerful perk it can come in clutch storm trance charges faster when allies are near and when storm trance is active nearby enemies take damage now when Stor storm trance is active nearby enemies take damage they don't take a lot of damage they kind of just can feel you coming and uh but really what you're looking for here is it charges faster when allies are nearby so in those four four round situations uh things are intense you don't know what supers are are charged for the enemy team and stuff like that uh just being able to kind of huddle up in one group it can get you killed but it will also charge your super super fast and uh, you might be able to get your storm trance enough to clutch the round so if you did use this remember that this isn't always going to benefit you where this really is always going to benefit you uh, when you're using your grenades just giving that extra uh, charging and having that web it's very very powerful so that's essentially the subclass guys just going over it briefly we have storm grenade focus burst landfall amplitude of course max armor 
feedback, and finally arc web. And that's basically my trials loadout. This does not change for trials. Um, I do use my storm trance a lot in the raid and it will change uh, very different. Let me know if you guys wanna see PVE versions of this uh, kind of video in the comment section, but that's really gonna do it for the subclass. Now over to the exotics that I like to use and the number one exotic that I use in trials like all the time with my storm trance is the Claws of Ahamkara. The reason why is because, again, we focus heavily on strength, we focus heavily on our melee, and this is the exotic that does so. You gain an additional melee charge, and it increases your melee attack speed. And really, guys, just having that extra amplitude melee, having that constant um, just feedback with all that all the perks that go into your melee um having that intensified thunder strike when you get hit with the melee having two of them the extended range of amplitude it just makes it super super deadly so if you're running a storm caller in trials i recommend the claws of ahamkari a very underrated um exotic for for really any warlock because the sun singer uses this to to great uh, extent and so can't the void walker now i don't usually use ophidian because you don't get that improved energy drain which i really do like uh for the void walker and with this exotic per in particular uh so i don't typically run this on my storm caller mainly what i run is the claws of amkara you can run the impossible machines to be able to uh double up on both landfall and uh, Ionic Blink, but again, for somebody that's not super talented with, with Ionic Blink, and also I don't value the super to that high of an extent where I feel the need to waste an exotic slot on it as well. Um, so really, I don't use these, but you could if you wanted to, to double up on those perks, but really that's it as far as the two exotics I use. Uh, there's not a ton of options with the storm caller they don't have a ton of different things of course you can always run your light beyond nemesis or your ram if you want that increased armor but claws of amkara are really going to be where i'm at as far as the storm caller goes now as far as any loadouts go you you absolutely have to run this class with a shotgun because of the melee because of just the close range uh of it you want to run a shotgun uh, you you could get away with running uh a trespasser or a sidearm of some sort uh, but i don't typically snipe on my warlock at all uh, but especially in this meta you want to be running a shotgun with this particular subclass now i like to pair this subclass with the, those medium range to close range weapons so things like blind perdition things like um the clever dragon i wouldn't use anything i, I typically i won't use the last word with this class because i don't want to double up on the close range already got the shotgun don't really need the last word so i usually run it with a blind perdition and that's really it guys so that's basically everything we went over the skill tree uh the exotics claws of car and if you wanted to use landfall uh the impossible machines you can do that as well and then we're gonna just run a close to mid-range weapon for a primary and a shotgun in the secondary so Hopefully you guys do enjoy these videos. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this content. I really do like helping you guys out and showing you guys that kind of love and, and kind of revealing my secrets, so to say. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. Join the Xbox group, uh, the club, Zen Garden. It is absolutely blowing up. We are coming very close as the making of this video to 700 members in there. It's super active. People are playing together. People are finding people to play with. Play, they're, you know, they're linking up to, to play trials. They're linking up for the raids. I'm in there active all the time. You guys can come chill with me. Uh, so if you're on Xbox and you want more of a social aspect to this game, you want maybe a little bit uh, something that feels fresh, join the club. I mean, it's growing like crazy and all the support behind it and everybody that's there inviting their friends. And it's just super, super active and i'm loving it so make sure you guys get get in there and come and join us in the garden but that's gonna do it for this video guys i really hope you guys do enjoy make sure you hit it with a thumbs up if we can get it to 120 likes we will do the next one which will be the sun singer and then after that let me know in the comment section below what classes you guys want to see next you guys want to see titans next hunters next let me know thumb up each other's comments so i can get a better idea of where you guys stand with it and uh with that guys that's gonna be it so I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's Ben ZG, and I'm out. Peace.